hi guys um welcome back to my channel so my name is Tolu and i'm a writer and stylist in lagos nigeria if you're just joining me for the first time i want to say thank you for coming to my channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on your post notification because i'll be sharing you more video tips more brighter hair styling tips more diy hair styling tips and if you already subscribed to this channel i want to say thank you for coming back and don't forget to turn on post notification don't forget to share this video if you find it helpful and do not forget to share so today i'm going to be showing you how to create the popular nigerian traditional style guess what it is is it a do style i'm going to be showing you how to create a double layer a do bridal style and i'm going to show you every single step to make this style look super super duper gorgeous so please stay with me while you watch don't forget to like the video do not forget to comment as i love to read your comments and do not forget to share i'll see you in my next videos so guys um don't always forget first thing you want to do is you want to prepare your bright hair before styling and for this edo style we're going to have a little braid in front of the hair just a little braid right in front of the hair okay so i'm going to braid that So once I'm done braiding the hair right in front, I'm going to be packing all my hair up into a pony tail hairstyle, like an updo. And I'm just going to use my my tail comb to smoothen it up. So once, once you've um, neatly packed your hair off, you want to go in to tie that down with your rubber band and your hair pin. Just going to go into the hair and pull that around the base of the ponytail, like so. like so now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start attaching my weave on to the base of this ponytail and that's what i'm going to show you next so i'm going to be using this um synthetic hair that i got from darling and it's called the daniela product and i'm just going to be attaching that to the base of my ponytail using my bobby pins and I'll be going around the hair or the base of the ponytail in a circular motion. So I'm going in with another, another weft of the hair and I'm still going in a circular motion. I'm going to put another layer to this hair because I want it to be very full enough for my hair style. So this um this wave one is not a new one because I already used it for some hair styling shoots, so that's why I could not show you what the pack looks like, but just check for darling product 
and check for Daniela. Daniela, that's the name of the SL. Okay, you find it there. So I'm still just going in a circular motion, working my way around the base of the ponytail. So I'm going in with another set. And I'm still going around the base of the ponytail. So once you paint your hair around the base of the ponytail, I'm going to mask the tips of your client hair into a single braid like so and we're going to just you know neatly pin that down with your bobby pin So now the next step is to go in with our air padding, which I'll be showing you right now. So for this hairstyle, I'll be going in first with this um, the bigger size of the hair padding, which is this one. I'll be going in with two hair paddings, the bigger size size first, and I'm going with the smaller size later. So just watch me. So I'm going to be securing that down with my bobby pin. So once I've properly secured my hair padding down, I'm going to be neatly combing my hair on it, or my weave on it. And you want to work in sections, so I'm working with this section first, because you don't want your hair looking tacky, because it was not neatly done. So you want to work in sections, Pin that section down on top of the bone, right on top of the bone. Then we're moving to this section. Don't forget, you want to work in sections. Okay. And I'm going to be pinning that down also with my bobby pin. So moving on to the next section. Now finally to the last section, last section, so you want to pin down the tip of the previous section. you want to secure the last section down so you just go in once more with your comb and be sure all your sections are properly secure So now I'm going to repeat um, the exact same thing I did while I was attaching my weave on to the base of ponytail. I'm going to be repeating it right on top of this one. So 
watch and uh, follow me through so once you're done um, attaching your weave on to the second layer of the hair you're going to go in with the second padding that you have and you're just going to place that right on top of the hair now I'm going to be securing that down with my bobby pins don't forget you always want to secure your padding down every single time because your foundation matters when it comes to bridal styling you don't want your bride dancing and you know the hair falls off her head so you want to make sure it is properly secured and it's firm no matter how much she dances okay so that's what i'm just doing and now i'm going to be repeating the very first process i did on this padding working in sections i'm going to start combing my weave on this padding So now I'm going to attach the on that I made from scratch. If you want me to show you how I made this okuku on, please drop a comment below and I'm going to leave a tutorial very soon. But if you know how to make it, that's fine. However, most beads um, vendors actually make these to come with their client's beads. So you don't have to worry about making this as a hair stylist. So now the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attaching this on right to this braid that I made earlier on but this hair is so long so I'm going to have to fold it okay I'm going to have to fold it then attach my own to it with my needle and my thread So once you're sure it is securely firm on your hair, I'm going to be attaching the end of this on to the middle of the, the two bones that we created. And I'm just going to go in with my needle and my thread to create that. At this point, I'm going to start attaching my um, broken coral beads to this hair, and I'm going to start from the base of the hair. I'm going to be pinning that down with my bobby pin. Like so. And I'm just going to be going round and you know arranging it in layers layers don't forget to pin to pin down as you go because you don't want your beads moving if 
you want to get beads like this maybe you're planning for your wedding or you want to get for a bride of yours you can just check bright and make factory she's on instagram and she sells beads like this and she sells accessories also so i'm going with another layer of my broken bead and i'm just securing it down with my bobby pin So once I'm done arranging my beads from the head, I'm going to go in with this piece. I also made this piece, but you can get from Brights and Maids Factory, like I said, she's on Instagram. I'm going to leave a link to her um, Instagram page in the description box so you can easily reach her. And I'm going to be pinning that down with my small bobby pin. So once that is um, properly secure, I think I want to go in one more time with my bobby pin. So guys, once that is properly secure, you want to go around and check that your beads are not going to fall off anywhere so just want to double check and secure your head properly So guys, this is about this hairstyle. Let me know what you think about the tutorial. Okay, please drop your comments, drop your likes. Don't forget to also subscribe to this channel if you've not. This is a simple Edo Bridal hairstyle. Okay. And if you try this video house, please tag me on your pictures or your videos so i can see what you've done see you in my next video bye